Hello there and welcome. In the previous episode we added some effects to the shooting, so now when we hit different objects we can see a bullet hole. In this episode we're going to do something simple, we're going to add bottles to our scene, glass bottles that when we shoot at them they will explode and it will give us a satisfying feeling. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new folder and name it models. And inside we're going to import a model that I created in Blender. It's a beer bottle and it's also sliced into many different parts so we can create this destructible effect. Then we're going to drag this model into our scene because we want to do a few changes. We're going to rename all these Blender cylinders to part 1, part 2 and so on. Then we're going to change the scale of the model to something smaller because it's pretty big when you import it. And on the beer model, we're going to add a box collider so it will be able to stand on objects and not just fall through the ground. Now we're going to select all of these parts and we're going to add a mesh collider on them and we're going to enable this Covex option. Now while still selecting all of these parts, we're also going to add a rigid body. We're going to tick is kinematic and we're going to change the mass. Now we're going to create a new script for the beer bottle. So we're going to name it beer bottle and we're going to drag it on our beer model. Inside the script we're going to have a list of rigid bodies and these will be all the parts that we added rigid bodies to them. And we're only going to have one method that is going to be named shatter or explode and we're simply going to loop over all of these parts and for every part we're going to change the is kinematic to be false because right now it stands on true and if it's true then it means that all the parts will not stick together but when we call this method it will simply set it to false and then all of these parts will no longer be kinematic so they will fly off and create this explosion effect. Now we're going to move to our bullet script and inside we're going to add another situation when we hit a beer bottle. So when we hit this beer bottle, we want to call this method, this shatter method. So then it will loop over all of these parts and it will set them to be kinematic false and they will simply fly off and create this explosion effect, this shatter effect. And we are not going to destroy the bullet because maybe we want to be able to use the same bullet to shoot two different bottles. So the bullet will be destroyed using its own lifetime, if I'm remembering it's about 3 seconds, but we're not going to destroy the bullet when it hits the bottle because realistically the bullet is not stopped when it hits the bottle. Next we're going to create a beer tag so Unity knows what is a beer and we're going to add it on our beer model. And we're going to select all the beer parts and drag them inside this all parts list. And we also apply the prefab. So now we're going to drag this beer model and we're going to create a prefab out of it. It's going to be an original prefab. So we can delete it from our scene. Next we will go to our materials folder and we're going to create a new material and name it bottle glass. We're going to change it to be green. We're going to increase the metallic map to one and the smoothness as well. And this will give us some kind of shiny glassy effect. And we're going to drag the material we created on all of the parts of the bottle. Now we will save the changes for the prefab again. And we're going to position a bottle somewhere on the wall. Let's duplicate and create one more. And let's run the game. Now if we approach one of these bottles and we shoot at them, then we can see that it explodes into many different parts. And we can also shoot the parts themselves because they're now just separate objects. So that's all for this episode. It was a very small addition to the game, but now you know how to create explodable things. And usually in FPS games, we do want to have these effects. In the future, we're also going to have windows. So when we shoot at these windows, we're going to apply the same effect. And in the next episodes, we're going to continue with this game and add bigger things. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you're still not subscribed and see you next time.